welcome to Peppy Civil Class. Today, um, we will be looking at a topic under transportation engineering, which is parking survey. And we've already solved a question under the in-out survey. Today, we are going to solve a question under the license plates method. Okay. So, this question is, determine the average turnover accumulation for the 7.30 to 7.45 time interval and the average parking duration and the efficiency of the parking lot for the table below. So let's just analyze the table below and see. Um, this table says they have five bays, okay, five parking bays in the parking lot. And from the time 7 o'clock to 7.15, this car was parked in bay one this car was parked in bay two this car was parked in bay three this was parked in bay four but there was no car parked in bay five okay from the time 7 15 to 7 30 this was parked in bay one bay two bay three bay four and bay five and between 7 30 to 7 45 there was no car parked in bay one a bay two three four and five had cars parked there and between 7 40 to 8 o'clock all the five bays had cars parked in there okay and now we have to determine the average turnover for all the bays the accumulation for 7 30 to 7 45 the time interval yeah the accumulation for 7 30 to 7 45 and the average parking duration okay for all the bays and the efficiency of the parking lot how efficient is this parking lot okay so solution i already drew the table so um in b1 okay this is how it works in b1 which was between the time 7 o'clock to 7.15, there was a car park there, okay? There was a car park there. So, 1. Okay. Bay 2, 7 o'clock to 7.15, there was a car park there. Bay 3, 7 o'clock to 7.15, there was a car park. Bay 4, there was a car park. Bay 5, there was no car park there, okay? And, uh... 7.15 to 7.30, Bay 1 had a car parked, Bay 2, Bay 3, 4, and 5. Cars were parked um, within all the 5 bays, okay. Then from 7.30 to 7.45, Bay 1 had no car parked between 7.30 to 7.45. Bay 2, Bay 3, 4, and 5, they all had cars parked there. And between 7.45 to 8 o'clock, all the bees had parked cars in there. So 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. Okay. Now, the turn over. Okay. We want to see the number of cars that were turning over, those that left and those that replaced within the time interval. So, we could see that in bay 1, from 7 o'clock to 7.15, the car that was parked there was GC225909. Okay. The next car was from 7.15 to 7.30. This car had left. This car was parked there from 7.15 to 7.30. That's GN9689. It's a different car, so two. Between 7.30 to 7.45, no car was parked there. Um, between 7.45 to 8 o'clock, GX331512 was back there. So, the 10 over is 3. We have 3 different cars. 1, 2, 3. That is 3. Okay. Bay 2. From 7 o'clock to 7.15, AS54718. AS54718. 7.15, 7.30. 7.30, 7.45. 7 the same car was parked from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So the turnover is just one. 
because the same car it never moved that's the same car so we have only one car from seven to eight b3 we have gn 947 within the first interval that's seven o'clock to seven fifty now from seven fifteen to eight o'clock gr two four three one sixteen was parked within the three interval so meaning the total from seven am um, from seven to eight only two cars were parked this car turned over for this but this one remained for the rest of the time okay or the uh, in time interval so we have two cars here for b4 <clears throat> 7 7 to 7 15 vr 41 was parked vr 141 the same car was parked but it turned over gw 468814 was parked from 7 30 to 7 45 and it also turned over from 7.45 to 8 o'clock. AS 5387.12 came to park there. So the turnover for B4 is this and this is 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And the last one, B5. In the first 15 minutes, there was no car park there. So now we have CR. 919115 CR919115 from 715 to 745 and from 745 to 8 o'clock GN9689 was parked so two cars were parked in bay 5 that's a turnover 2 okay now the accumulation accumulation is just the summation of the number of cars that were parked so 11114 one, five one 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 four and five okay now the total turnover three plus one four six nine eleven okay now the occupancy the occupancy here okay the occupancy here is equal to the accumulation divided by the number of bees the number of bees so the accumulation we have four divided than the number of bees we have five and this is going to give us 0 0.8 okay so 0 0.8 5 divided by 5 1.0 0 0.8 1.0 okay now determine the first question says determine the average turn over so the average turn over is the parking volume divided by the number of base average turn over is equal to the parking number of bays okay and the parking volume is 11 divided by the number of bays we have five and this is giving us 2.2 .2 vehicle per hour per b right so we have 2.2 .2 here now the next one we are calculating for the accumulation for the time interval 7.30 to 7.45, okay, the accumulation for the time interval 7.30 to 7.45, so, accumulation for 7.30 to 7.45, it's equal to, 730, 745, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. okay, and it's 4, so 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is giving us 4, 4 vehicles, okay, 4 vehicles were parked within the time interval 730 to 745, the next one says, 
average parking duration okay average duration is equal to the parking load dividing the parking volume okay now the parking load is the accumulation that we have here 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 okay 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 dividing the parking volume which is 11 times the time interval the time interval is 15 7 o'clock to 7 15 7 15 7 30 7 30 7 45 45 8 o'clock so the time interval is 15 minutes multiply by 15 and this is giving us 24.54 minutes per vehicle okay this is the average duration in um minutes now let's calculate for the average duration in hours so average average duration we still have the parking load over parking volume parking load added by the parking volume but this time around we would have to multiply by um we'd have to divide by 60 because we want it in hours so 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 or dividing 11 times 15 60 okay and this is going to give us 0 0.4 per uh, uh the vehicle okay the last one is the efficiency we we'll have to calculate for the efficiency of the parking lots okay the efficiency is given by the occupancy okay the total occupancy dividing the Four dividing four, so zero point eight plus one point zero plus zero point eight plus one point zero. Okay, the average efficiency so one, two, three, four divided by four times hundred, and this is giving us ninety percent. So the efficiency of this parking lot is 90%, okay?